Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Savvy Games. We're back with Batman, pretty much right where we left off, because, uh, yeah, you know what? But, it's, it's raiding time. <coughs> right, here we go. Alright, we're going to start with the main character. We're going to start out with Batman. His story is, when his parents were gunned down in front of him, young Bruce Wayne resolved to raid Gotham of the criminal element that took their lives. He trained extensively to achieve mental and physical perfection. In addition to mastering martial arts, detective techniques, and criminal psychology, dressing as a bat to prey on criminals' fears, Batman crime, with the aid of his specialized gadgets and weapons, operating out of a secret back cave below, Wayne Manor. Ah, uh, that's all that stuff. If anyone cares. And that's just that. Yeah, that's Batman. Alright, let's uh, take a look at the Joker. Uh, an insanely homicidal supervillain, the Joker's white skin, green hair, and blood red lips play the chaotic nature underlying his cartoonish appearance. A self styled clown prince of crime has no superpowers beyond the capacity of incredibly, oh, for incredible violence and the skill of creating deadly mayhem. He frequently con. concocts? Elaborate. concocts. Ha! <laughs> cocks. Elaborate schemes to entrap his arch nemesis, Batman. Uh, he was literally in the first Batman. Six feet, 160 pounds. Jeez, dude, put on some weight. He's just, he's just a crazy dude, man. All right, Warden Sharp. Quincy Sharp has been running Arkham Asylum for the past three years and has dedicated his life to restoring sanity to so-called super villains that plague Gotham City. He is currently campaigning to become the next mayor of Gotham. To facilitate this campaign, he has instigated... A stringent new security and experimental research policies in Arkham. He's short, fat. I'm gonna be just like whatever. <laughs> Nothing fancy. All right, who's this guy? Frank Boyles. He's the guy that Boyles has been working in Arkham for eight years. He has twice been suspended for drinking on the job and regularly holds poker evenings in the guard room. Frank is uh, desperate to be top dog at Arkham. He failed to recognize. That he is considered untrustworthy and generally disliked. That's because he's dead. Yeah. Definitely dead. Alright, Croc. Killer Croc. Born with a rare mutation that made his skin green and scaly. And grew his body to grotesque proportions. Waylon Jones. Was raised by an alcoholic aunt and bullied relentlessly for his appearance. He briefly worked as a carnival freak under the name Killer Croc, but his misanthropy grew, as did his uh, beast-style nature, pushing him into a level of crime. As his physical conditions and mental state deteriorated, Killer Croc became more beast-style foe, increasingly detached from humanity. This guy used to be a person. Dear Lord, he's five, 11 feet tall, 580 pounds. Gosh. Dude, good for you, though. Make a life for yourself. Harley Quinn. The Arkham Asylum psychiatric assigned to treat the Joker, Dr. Harlan Quinzel, instead became obsessively fascinated with her patient, believing herself to be in love with him. She helped him escape confinement and took, and took on her own criminal identities. Harley Quinn. Quinn is violent, unpredictable felon whose only motive beyond general mayhem is achieving the Joker's approval because of his cruel and medical nature. Merc Mercurial? I can't read, you know, it's big words. Uh, this is uh, this in some way makes her just another one of his victims. Albeit a very dangerous one. Albeit. Huh, a very dangerous one. Interesting. Five seven hundred forty. She's got some poundage on her for being five. It's those. Look at those thighs. Those are some. Those are some muscle thighs right there. Ladies. All right. Uh, so she loves the Joker. Oracle. You don't know who Oracle is. This is the crazy who I'm talking. The lady who I'm talking to. In my ear. The daughter of Gotham's city police commissioner, James W. Gordon. Barbara Gordon was forbidden. By her overprotected father from joining the Gotham City Police Department. Instead, she took on an identity of Batgirl. And was a crime-fighting partner of Batman for years. But that all ended when the Joker shot 
her through the spine, paralyzed from the waist down, and confined to a wheelchair. Barbara adopted the new identity of Oracle and now aids the Dark Knight with the computer expertise providing Batman with a consistent stream of information in the field to aid his battle against crime. <clears throat> it used to be said, Batman, you're an amazing guy. Like, you took on her as Batgirl, which is amazing. You're training other superheroes like yourself, not just like Spider-Man. Hey, I'm Spider-Man! I swing on web Yeah, you know, he's, you know, Batman's gonna die. <coughs> of, like, you know, he may die, right? So, he's training other people to be superheroes. That's amazing. Look, Barbara Gordon. Thank you, Barbara. Or shall we call you Batgirl? There you go. Commissioner Gordon. Police Commissioner James W. Gordon dedicated his career to cleaning up the corruption of Gotham State Police Department. A goal he has been has come a long way towards accomplishing. He has been equally tough on crime and in the pursuit of making Gotham City safe for all citizens. Gordon has forged an uneasy alliance with Gotham's other top crime fighter, the mysterious vigilante, known as Batman. At a boy. At a boy. James W. Gordon. Alright, who we got here? Dr. Penelope Young. She's the one that was working with Joker. Penelope well, Young was always a brilliant student, was prepared to do anything to advance her professionally. She built a reputation for being a cold, calculated woman focused on the only project at hand. She was hired at Arkham Asylum by Warden Quincy Sharp to head up the Asylum's research department and finally restore the sanity of most deranged of Gotham City supervillains. But she's creating this toxin thing that's, you know, making things people like Bane. Hi, Riddler. I love you. With an obsession of compulsive need for attention, Edward Nigma is determined to be the most outlandish of Gotham City criminals. Concocting an elaborate series of clues to riddles surround the crime, Batman has proven a worthy opponent capable of deducting the riddles' plans, but Nigma is dedicated to creating a mystery that Dark Knight will not be able to solve in time. 61183. Man, he's such a. He's bigger than the Joker. So, good for him, I guess. Yeah. Bane. Actually, let's go right here. For right here first. Uh, Aaron Cash, one of the most senior and respected guards at Arkham. Cash is, o is only afraid of one inmate, Killer Croc, who severely wounded Cash once during the riot asylum. Cash remains determined, however, to keep the asylum inmates under control and to conquer his fears of crack. Thank you, Mr. Cash. All right, who we got here? Zaz, Mr. Zaz. A true sociopath. Zaz grew up in a life of ease, but nonetheless became a serial killer. Indiscriminate in his prey. Body count is the only thing that matters to Zaz. He takes pleasure in arranging the corpses of his victims in a lifelike pose before carving his marks for each of his victims into his own body. Wow. He is saving a special spot for Batman. Crazy weird man Victor's ass that's weird all right uh, let's go to Bane hey Bane how you doing imprisoned from birth to serve his dead father's sentence Bane was raised inside the horrific in bronze of a Santa Prisca prison his only friend in the hellhold was a teddy bear he named Ostio Ostito Osito Finding uh, solace in smuggled books and meditation. He developed an incredible power to concentrate. Powers of concentration. When he is subjected to the military expense. Exp <laughs> when he was subjected to military experiments using a steroid code named Venom, his iron forged will helped him survive when the, uh, the other test subjects had died. He, and he managed to escape. Determined to prove his worth, he sought out Batman and broke the Dark Knight's spine. But Batman recovered and managed to best Bane, cutting off the precious venom supply that transformed Bane into a superhuman. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What a guy. He's only 5'6"? On... Without Venom? And 140 pounds? Dude's small. Oh, went on Venom. Six foot eight. 350 pounds. Well played, Bane. 
Well played, Scarecrow. Taunted and bullied his youth, Jonathan Crane vowed to overcome his fears and thought the study of psychology and biochemistry. Uh, kicked out of university for experimenting on human subjects, Crane then adopted the identity of the Scarecrow and armed himself with specialized fear-inducing gas that makes a person's deepest phobias become frighteningly real. His ongoing criminal reign of terror makes him one of Batman's most psychologically dangerous foes. Six foot, 140 pounds? Dear Lord! Freaking bunch of Europeans run around this place. We got anything over here? Nope. Then we got this. The spirit of Arkham. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> Cousins with an uncanny resemblance to each other. Deaver and Dumphy. Tweed. Both shared criminal learnings and a fixation on Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland. Teaming up, they've modeled themselves after Tweedledum and Tweedledee. From the book. Planning often outrageous absurdist schemes to trap the Batman. Look at that. They're pretty much the same person. They weigh the same weight. Crazy. Tweedy Tweedledum. And it's literally just because their uh, symbols have been found on Arkham Island. Boop, 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 boop. We can listen to those later. So there you go. That's people, buddy. 11 minutes of people. So there you go. Alright, we gotta get back into that mansion. We got two armed some bitches over there. We're going to freaking get over there without them seeing us. Because I'm Batman. I'm a ninja. Ninja, ninja, ninja. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Jesus. Dude. Freaking. Ugh. Can't see me anymore. That's good. Frick, man. Jeez, Louise, man. Let me tell you. Alright, so there's one. No! Don't throw it. Don't do that either. Stop walking. I need the back claw. For this nerd. For this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. This guy right there. There. Fall off. Shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Damn it. Alright, I gotta do something here, but... I'm not too sure what I should do. Uh, how am I gonna... Hmm. What if I drop down... Oh, shoot. Killers, maimers, and murderers that are not yet in the old mansion? Ha. Uh, Sup, nerd. Coming for you. Hey, bud. Sup. Sup, buddy! Yoink! See you later. Hey, look! There's a guy there already. That's funny. Alright, so that's that. Beautiful. Uh, there was a thing down here that I want to take a look at. Watch this, this is going to be so cool, I'm going to stand on it. Boom! Riddler trophy. <laughs> you want to see something funny? Suck it, nerd. <laughs> you just fell down. So did you. So did you. Nice, got an upgrade too. Alright, uh, do I want more health? Yeah, I do. I'm, you know what, I might as well just get help for right now. Alright, can I get in here? Open the door? Hey, buddy, I can. Well, look who it is. Great, I can't. Big bad Batman. Come on, tough guys. Come and get Damn it. Yeah, yeah. I got, I, you know, whatever, man. Okay, Legacy of Thousand has been... What? There's something buried. Okay, so I need to 
figure out how to get into this place. Was this not it? No. Okay, okay, let's find a place. Always is. Just need to look around. I am. Something up here. Use the tech tomorrow. Hmm. How do I get up there? I can't. Alright, so mansion, mansion, mansion. How do I get in you? Ladies! Just kidding. Just perverts. Alright, let's, uh, hey, look. Riddler trophy. Hey, buddy. Thanks, bud. Oh, you found that one. Sorry, it wasn't fun. Anything up here? There's gotta be something. Come on, really? How do I get into this place? No. Oh shit. Get up, get up. Not that way. <laughs> you know. And now I'm nowhere near it, am I? I'm down here. Beautiful. Alright, let's get this thing up. Frick. Oh, buried. There should be something here. Buried, right? Long buried? Hmm. Let's look at this. This is it, right here. What? Subject out of view. There we go. You are performing just below my predicted expectations. At this rate, uh, I'm gonna sock him. Well, we might as well do it. We're gonna do them as we get them now. Sorry. Dear Lord, look at me go. Um, Amidus Arkham. Hey, how you doing, buddy? All right, Amidus Arkham founded Elizabeth Arkham Asylum for the criminally insane, naming it after his mother, whom he in uh, all through eyes as treatment for her dementia. Building it on the old grounds of family historic mansion of the outskirts of Gotham, Amadeus uh, personally treated his first patient, Martin Mad Dog Hawkins, who had killed Amadeus' wife and daughter. Uh, after administrating fatal electroshock treatment to Hawkins, Amadeus lost all grip on sanity and was admitted to his own institution. Ironic much, bitch? Yeah, all right, so this guy made it. And I found it. Oh, look, frickin' I'm such an idiot. Of course there's guys up guarding there for a reason. Ding dong. How about we get up there, Batman? Whoop! That was so much e I was running around the freaking Boom! Pull it down, son! Pull it down! There we go. Get out of this Batman tech mode. I shouldn't have been so stupid. You know? I'm in. And I'm angry. There we go. Batman's in the mansion. Alright, locate. Okay. Yeah, thinking coward limped off. Cake between his legs. If they tried to come through and take him on, he would stand a chance. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'd rip his head off and give it to Joker for a paperweight. Always sucking up to the boss. What's that supposed to mean? You heard me. Oh shit. How do I? No! I don't want to freaking glide kick you. Not you, but you. I want that gun. Frick. There we go. This is it. Take it, Batman. You've got armor now. There you go. Hey, where's your guns, dicks? Oh, look what you're gonna do. Boom! Zoom! Do! Do! Nerd! Boom!
Boom! Wrecked ya! That's a good thing I got that armor. Now I'm a little, like, more bulletproof resistant, I guess. Yeah, beautiful. Alright, uh, that's good. There's no riddle in here yet? Okay. Whatever. Reception. Really? Guess I'll go up here. Noink. And... Then what? Oh, is there an opening in the grate? For me to go into? Really? Are you... Oh, right there. Alright, uh... Oops. To do. Nope. At the thing, Batman. God bless the techno mode, people. That could have taken me forever, just like the other one. Sup? Oh, and now, man, there's a freaking lot of things I gotta do just to get in this freaking building. Hey, check it out, nerds. Hey, look, another one of you. And good, I got him in order. Oh, you want? Don't don't want. Don't want to listen to them. Don't want to listen to them. Can you please stop? You're still day, talking. Stop it. Thank you. Alright. Down we go. Yoink. Ninja. Oh. What's this way? Anything? Nothing. Who is the main man in the main hall? Is this the main hall? Not in the main hall. Okay. Uh, find the notes before what's his balls does, and look, I'm, who's the main man in the main, oh, that guy right there. Dude, I got it. That's you, alright. None of you have guns. I feel as if I should kill them. Alright. Should I go down and fight them? I don't know. Alright. It's right there, buddy. Hey, check it out, nerd. Shit. They're coming towards me. Alright. Since you guys asked so nicely. Ready to fight, nerds? Eh, I am. Boom! Wow. You got a first shot. Okay, I'm gonna try and be good. Though. There's a lot of people, so I should be able... And throwing... Shit! Keep it going! No! You freaking dickbag! Oh, now I'm angry. Let's try it. Oh, he got me. Alright, here we go. Block you. Boom. Get your stupid friend. Your other stupid friend. Whatever. And bingo! Got him. That's how we do it. 17? That's okay. I guess. Hey look, a Riddler thing. Is there people still alive? Why is the music all weird? Buddy, this is you. I know it's you. Whatever. Like, oh my god. Rip that bad boy out. How do I get up there? He's right there. Frick. Alright, uh, what am I doing? I'm searching for... Clues. 
Searching for clues. South wing? I don't actually know where I'm going to be exact. What does a bird need in the rain? A house. Or a raincoat? An umbrella for the penguin. I'd have solved all the puzzles by now. And look, looky. The penguin, one of Batman's oldest foes, is in a central criminal mastermind known as much as uh, love orth and orthonology tricked umbrellas. As for a shady business deal in Gotham's popular iceberg lounge serves as cobble pots front for a number of illegal financial activities. That fun much of the city's underworld. Despite his short stature, the penguin is a wily foe whose umbrella conceals a variety of deadly weapons and gadgets. Five, two, 175, dude, go on. Like Atkins or some. Alright, so there's a guy there. No idea. Joker doesn't tell us his plans. She looks scared. Maybe she knew what was coming. Here! Yeah, suck it, nerd. Oh, you freaking son of a bitch. See ya. See ya. Boom in the dick. Dick punch. I don't even. Oh, shit. Anyone with weapons? No? All right, nerds. Ain't got time for your shit. Welcome to the Arkham Library. This is so important. Frick, a guy with a frickin' Dude, don't. Good night. Good night. Good night. I don't know where you are. There you are. It's just you and me, boy. And I don't like you. Boom! Shot to the chest. Now all you have to do is take a stroll downstairs and save the helpless officer. Right. Is that right? I don't know. Let's go this way. Let's go, Batman. Riddler trophy. Fair play. You don't like my vehicle. I don't like your face. Hey, get out of here, you stupid. Alright, we're coming downstairs. Get rid of these things. Yeah! Yeah, boy! Ooh. This looks fun! We're gonna end it here. Just kidding, I freaking... Oh, dang it. That's not good. The audience will be in fits of ecstasy and then die. That's not good. Oh man. Okay. I need to take down that thing. Let's get up. Go up. Yep. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, you dick. No. One minute thirty to go. Shut up. So am I. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Don't let them die. Don't let them die. Okay. Here I am. I need to get up. Up. There we go. Boom. Come on. Come on. Come on. Another room. 
and up somewhere, up somewhere, up somewhere. There we go. Get in here. Come on, let's go. Running out of time, me. Oh, 60 seconds. Psh. Good day. You okay? Um, now what? Where are you guys? Sup? Help him. Oh, you dick. Uh, disarm. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you, Batman. Are they all gone? Who's all? Yes, you're safe. What happened? It, it all happened so fast. Some patients broke in, began tearing up the place like they were looking for something. Bill here fought back, but there were too many. They took Dr. Young. She rushed in here and they followed. I'm sorry. When I came to, we were all tied up. Doc Young was gone. You're welcome. I saved your life. All right. So... And with that said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, do all that fun stuff. And uh, we're going to stop Batman here, I think, and find out where this lady is. Because, well, this fiendish puzzle literally appears in thin air. What? I'm confused. What's up here? Ooh, what's that? Oh, man, there's so much going on here. It's just crazy awesome. All right, we're going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to go and subscribe. Bye.